On April 18, 1906, at 5.12 a.m., came one of the greatest natural disasters in the recorded history of the West. Thousands killed. Nearly an entire city toppled and burned. After the shaking was over and the fires were extinguished, what was left? Entire city blocks leveled down to rubble. Rubble that contained thousands of tons of shattered and lost objects that were once part of people's lives. The keepsakes they cherished, the beds they slept on, the containers they ate and drank from, the crushed and scorched remains of their favorite local restaurants, theaters, saloons, even the very houses that they lived in. What became of it all as the city was rebuilt? The stuff that wasn't towed out to sea on gigantic barges to be sunk in the depths of the Pacific Ocean forever. The stuff that wasn't dumped onto the shorelines to be used as riprap. How much of it stayed right where it lay, covered up by a new city which rose above it? Muddy Amanda with Le Grand Reveal. Oh, looks like one of those mineral water bottles. Did you get hosed by one of those big old clunker mineral waters? Let's see. Oh, it looks like a gin actually. It has a long neck. You're gonna have to expose the neck. It might be against the plate unless you want it's to break it. It's not. It's okay. coming. All right. A big old English gin. All right. Oh, that's. Th these are pretty. I love these things because they look like shipwreck bottles. Shipwreck bottles. They just have that old look, and they're aqua, the color the color everyone likes in an old bottle. No embossing though. They're English. They're... <laughs> they never are. Not these. What do we got here? You got to shine your shine your light on it. What does it say? The the something juice. <laughs> er. No, that is definitely an er at the end there. Bitter? Maybe something like bitters? No, it's no. too small for bitters. Yeah. It's like med of some kind. It's still cool. If anyone sees what that says, let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Another label. Let's take a look before it goes away forever. Schindler's. Shoulders? like it was a oh that's a beer bottle it's a liquid bread this is like a tonic beer bottle so this is like beer that you drink for your health as a tonic instead of recreational as much it was really popular back in the turn of the century liquid bread was described as a pure extract of malt unsurpassed tonic a promoter of appetite, a source of muscular strength, an augmenter of nervous energy and fat-producing hydrocarbon. To nursing mothers, to children naturally feeble and with vitality impaired by disease, to many troubled with nervous exhalation and insomnia, to convalescents suffering from malnutrition, to those threatened with pulmonary trouble, and to those already affected with wasting diseases such as cancer and consumption, it will be found indispensable. It's funny, I was just thinking about how much I needed decanter tops for that de bitters decanter thing that I'm going to try to repair that I dug here. And now I'm finding decanter tops of all shapes and sizes. One of these will fit.
And this thing's really crazy. It's like a golden label under glass, maybe like Sotes bicarbon, it's some abbreviation maybe for a, a pharmaceutical product, substance. Really nice. Gold leaf under there. Let's see something back there. Looks like rock no it's a crock no it's uh, a hat with a head on it <laughs> nice hat you have <laughs> ghetto ass area there's like this white girl what's this white girl doing around here excuse me oh yeah you too <laughs> No, you're a straight up G. I'm talking about this honky right here. This is a real waspy, waspy white girl. She's kind of cute though. Nice profile. Let's see, zoom in on. Can we get it to focus? We're having some focusing issues here. Great. Really high quality iPhone. Oh, there we go. Hey, baby. Ooh, I like that profile. Man, I wish I could read this label. Oh, it's so cool. It was a Union Brewing and Malting Company. I'll try to get a good Union Brewing and Malting Company can't quite make it out and I, I tried to get the sand off of it and I scraped part of it off <sighs> oh there's a bottle behind it that's a bronzing ah oh, it's a bromo <laughs> oh boy everybody likes the bromos this is like a laxative Whoa. stomach Dead. medicine what is it oh wow is that German Distillery, whoa. Rest fre Wow, gold leaf. Oh, this was fancy stuff, man. There's definitely a hotel here. I guarantee it. Super fancy freaking hotel or a really fancy saloon. What is that big piece of coral? Jesus, freaking Galapagos Islands. Oh, whoa, whoa, man, what? Ah, jeez, man. Freaking, it's a torso. It's like the whole. Oh, that's so weird. You could make a really grotesque display of all this stuff. Just endless decapitated doll people and. Or you could like put the heads on the wrong. Oh, wait a second. I think that is the head. Holy oh, crap. Shit. Oh, no, you didn't. She's oh, found her head. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It totally is. I don't. Actually, it doesn't. Wait, really let me see. Fit. Oh, wait. there's a. It looked like it, but. No. It's not. <laughs> no, it's not. That is weird. Damn it. I know, because it like totally. It's like the exact part it's missing from this, but it's not from that. <sighs> Why? You had a break in kind of the same shape. Sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put my girlfriend together again. Gotta keep digging. Oh, that label got more legible. Remedy, tonic, yeah, it's tonic beer. Yeah, cool. Cool. Extraction of something that looks colored. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, what a color. Oh my God. Teal. Oh, why is that not embossed? Oh, please. Oh, how is that not freaking embossed? Oh, wow. That just had a pharmacy name on it. Oh boy. Oh me, oh my, cakes and pies. I'd be high-fiving all the bus drivers as they drove by. 
Okay, winding down here. Just got a cool Hutch Hutchinson from Enterprise Soda Works with some cool patina actually. Really nice patina. And then I just saw this on this ledge here. So I'm gonna have to dig it out. Alright, just pull it. Oh! Hello! The face re revealed. The conjuring. Ugh. Oh, this one's legless. <laughs> Could do a, like a graft here. Like she's got the legs. She's got the torso and the head. Oh, doll. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Oh, come on. Don't say it. You don't know. It just has a cute you know? little shawl over her head. You have a cute little ass over your head. Oh. <laughs> Oh look, my ass is over your head. Oh, gross. It's a guy pulling a cart. There's a guy pulling a cart? Do you have a bottle of water? No. Well, yeah, but it's my drinking water. Uh, Here, pour it. How much? Just very I'm slowly. I'm thirsty. Pull, very slowly, just a little okay. bit at a time. Okay, a little Best. more. Right there. Right here. Or right there. There we go. And then a little more right here. Okay. Fucking shovels impaling me. Now where? Right here. Okay. Okay, right, a little bit more. Ah. Uh, Ready? Oh, my water. I'm so thirsty. It's, it's whoa! Little, it's a little, it's a little cart. person pulling a cart. What kind of strange imagery is that? That's not fancy. It's like agrarian. What is that? There's like two little pinhole thingies on the back, maybe to hang it up. That's really cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, wait keep shining it. Wait, keep shining it right there. Oh, that's a really good. I can really see it now. There's a boy pulling a cart. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of agricultural utopian scene or something. I don't know, man. That's some kind of awesome, folk art. Though. Oh, maybe folk they art? use plaster in an abalone shell. What? I, I'm just judging by the maybe? shape. Yeah. Wow. Oh, is it lead? Yeah, that's what I thought. Our, our zinc. Oh, yeah, our I think it is. Or whatever. Yeah, you're right. That's cool. And you think it's an ashtray? That's what I'm guessing. It has little feet on the yeah. bottom. Sing it. Our dump in, in the, the middle, middle of, of the street. street. Our, our dump. dump. In the middle of the. Our, our dump. dump. Awesome, man. Well, that was a fun night. Muddy Amanda. Got it. Yeehaw. Man. Oh, butt. Oh, you got a butt at the end of the night? That ass. <laughs> I think you're just seeing things, man. You got the bottle delirium. Oh, come on. That is a, that is a butt. That's just a figure old vase. It's got a butt on all sides. It was no, brown. it's a butt. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. It's a butt. Slap that ass. <laughs> <laughs> bottle deliriums. Here's what you don't want to happen. There's a galvanized pipe right there, iron pipe. It's probably a hundred years old. It could still have water in it for all we know <laughs> with pressure. <laughs> what if you accidentally hit that and knocked a chunk of rust off? The whole Honk. street starts flooding. You have to run away and, oh my God. You'd be, like, you'd be in court like Ghostbusters too. <laughs> we were just digging a hole in the middle of the street. I swear. There's a lot of holes there already. Ugh. Whoa. Wow, yeah. That's a fun shape. Awesome. Yeah, that's a perfume. It's a thick glass perfume. Fancy one. Still, it's the base. Oh, yeah, polished pond. Here's the other part. Oh, just perusing the debris field after the holes. Trying to unwind a little bit with what is that? This is a. Um, a piece of Limoges from France. 
it's a very collectible type of china um, manufactured from oh god i'm afraid to say it on camera because i'm probably going to be wrong but i want to say 1700s or 1800s until they're still made today they're really famous for their ornate decorative eggs um i want to say that the like royal family collects them oh uh, um, of france yeah but then they also do like really nice teacups and yeah. just general you know plates and stuff and it's all like hand painted and just ornate as heck gold leaf and the whole nine huh limoges great zoom on this thing uh, thanks bill gates okay there we go sick limoges learning stuff all the time Here's a new one for Bottle Ned Street. Bottle digging. <laughs> wow. Whoa. And that's <laughs> below. Bush Budweiser. Okay, I think we got a body. What the hell? Oh, a foot. Oh man. I think you're overdressed for this occasion, sir or ma'am. Let's see if we can pull this one out without getting run over by a car. freaking thing dirty dinosaur look at this stuff man it's a, there's like a, it's like an art gallery underground underground art gallery below the road what the hell is going on this is like the fanciest decorative porcelain stuff i've ever seen it's amazing like an underground art gallery Boy, that's weird. Uh. Wow, I'm only missing the handle. Plants growing. Beautiful. Uh. How's it going, Danimal? Uh. Hoping to find another bottle. found another bottle, but you haven't. Ugh, looks like a Jackson and Napa soda. Let's see. I can take it one handed. Come on. Oh. The old Jackson's Crapsons. Jackson's Napa soda. Beautiful place. Definitely not here. <laughs> Colonel John P. Jackson, a Civil War soldier, friend of Ulysses S. Grant, and president of the Central Pacific Railroad, built an elaborate resort at the Napa Soda Springs in Napa County, California in 1872, and began bottling his Napa Springs water. Giant granite ware basin or something. Come on, baby. What's inside? Cool design. Broken bot inside. Klaus Rieden Brewing Company. Not 
double bot, double barrel bot. Come on, be a hutch. Ah, it's a crown. Well, at least it's a crown. And not a kick in the dick. Enterprise Soda Works, uh, yes. Have a drink. I will, thank you. Happy 4th of July! <laughs> American. American Soda Works, SF. <laughs> There's America for you. Just had a bottle lanch, but I saw what I thought was a thoroughbred. What? The <laughs> well, at least I'm not crazy. Wow. Is it a horse or a dog? I think it's a dog, like a trotting dog. It's made of a heavy metal, probably zinc, maybe lead even. Oh, that's going home. Look at the label on that. California house. <sighs> California home. There's the home. Brand. Probably pickles. What a cool label. This is the only evidence you're going to see of this. It's going to deteriorate when exposed to oxygen now that it's out of the ground. So that's the last you're going to see of it is documentation. Mmm, love that typeface. Read it. Well, I can't read it, dude. Well, Barney's got, Barney's got a Barney. Barney Beer. Fulton Street National Bottling Company, San Francisco, with an eagle on it. That's a Barney blob top beer right there. God, I hope so. Beautiful. Barney, Barney Bob, Barney to a nice beer. Beautiful bottle. Yeah. There's a lot of variants on these, so it's a nice one. Ah, look at that bird. It's just like facing... Look at you. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> You're rising oh from the ashes. Oh, my God. You know, this is what patience is all about yeah. because I started off kind of, you know... Yeah, you, I, that's what happens yeah. here. You just yeah, you pop for a while, and then you, you start to barney. Y'all mother effers get to be privy, so to speak, to a special moment in bottle history. An extraction moment. Every bot extraction is special. Feels like a quart of beer. God, it's so big. Ew, God. Oh, the beer's still in there. Ew, dude. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. Whoa, it's... This is gonna be a nice one. I think it's, oh, let me smell it first. Oh, Honk. oh, that's the beer. The beer is still inside, everybody. That is nasty. Oh, national. Oh, baby. Oh, I love these. It's a great beer. It's the quart size one. National Bottling Works, Fulton Street, with the Eagle. San Francisco. Trademark. Beautiful. Love the street address beers. Add some great provenance. There's the blob top. Huh. God, that smells really rancid, man. Actual beer sitting under the street since 1906. Fermenting. Ew. Blob top. Inches below the street. Wow. Let's see what it is, shall we? Uh, got blob. Oh, yeah, piece of crap malt beer. I hate these freaking things. 
do. Out on the streets, the crackheads are getting their fix. Below the streets, we are getting our bot fix. This dump gives you your bot fix, you know? yanks a lot right there if it was a better bottle i probably wouldn't yank yeah you it. wouldn't yank it if it was an older dump it just uh, what is it it's a euro it's beer those pops yeah euro beer. A real pub. some of this stuff is stained that though over there? Ooh. that's a oh shit my phone oh, yeah. that there? A little advertising piece here lashes bitters better than pills. Probably go good with all the crack around here. <laughs> I was so excited when I saw this until I, I couldn't read it because it's in Spanish. At least oh it could be God. from the West Coast. That would have been such a good jug. Wow. Uh, let's see what it was. Manuel, hold <laughs> Is it really? Esto es Manuel Hidalgo Stilador, Destilador, St. Thomas W.I. Is that? I figured it out. St. Thomas, West Indies. Jar, it's a rum bottle. Johnny Depp drank out of this. Woohoo, Pirates of the Caribbean, man. Weird. This jug is from St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. This area was once called the West Indies, which is a subregion of North American islands colonized by the Spanish after Christopher Columbus came across them on his voyages. This looks like a big urn from a hotel lobby. Wow. This is trash from a fancy hotel here. Look at that. So that was for flowers? Could be. Or ashes. <laughs> Don't creep me out. It's got enough ashes in it already. The There's three ashes fire. sitting right here. <laughs> Asses. Yeah, no ashes. Look at that, a little creamer. These are usually local addresses. Let's see. Usually these are pretty beat up because they're reused so many times. Check it out. What does it say? Benedict Brothers Milk and Cream. 548 Castro Street. Cool. Cool little creamer. I'm lying on my stomach in a tunnel that I created underneath the city, pulling out bottles. There's people driving by like 20 feet away. <laughs> Somebody saw me right now. <laughs> I think I'm a dead body. Tunnel man found underneath the city. Bottle Tunnel Man. He tunnels under the city for your bottles. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got? What does Bottle Tunnel Man have underneath the city? The bay, bitch. The bay. Let's see if I can get a good light on this. The bay. The bay bottling company, San Francisco. <laughs> Tunnel bottle man. Boy, there's gonna be a lot of weird shit buried below this street. <laughs> Meds passed away under the street forever. 
that oh, Alex. Is what that the a, hell is, is, is that? It's a humidor. It's humidor. pottery. Don't, don't hold it up to any of the Honk. people driving by. <laughs> people are gonna drive by and be like, Put "What the, the fuck?" fuck? Wait, just a minute. I gotta take a picture with you. What's that thing on is the left-hand side? Is that a broken pipe stem on the left-hand side? No, it's part of it. It's like he's got something in his teeth. Yeah, a cigar, a pipe. Oh shit! It's what, like right? some novelty thing from a bar. What, what's the mark on the bottom? Oh my god, that's nice. Okay, hold on, text that's one of the best things I've seen in a long time. Jane, Jane, too. What is it? What's it part of? It's, it's pottery, it's, it's, but it's, a, it's, it's like part of a statue from a bar, maybe like away, a pirates. Yeah, yeah. That, that's really. Halloween. Don't let nobody Halloween see Halloween from 1906. That's cool. Hey, okay, O'Neill, put it, put it, that's turn it around. <laughs> turn, O'Neill, turn it around so the people yeah. driving by can't see that's, it. That's the, <laughs> thing I've seen the freaking the roads yeah, right there. Keep the that people one. driving okay. by the skull. What is the bizarre. f? What? What it is, but it looks cool. Lamp base, maybe? Maybe? Wow. Oh, polished pond hole. Wow, nice color. Teal. I think that's where the uh, fitting went right there. Nice piece of glass. Pull out the pharmacy. Come on, embossing. Oh. Nobody home. Lots of glass right there. Whoa, look at all the glass. There's, there's tons of stuff here. It's just a lot of smash. Well, it's like that everywhere. There's mom <sighs> Metal detecting Amanda. Hello, bottleneck. Mold extract. More bottles. All the all the things are in between the two pieces of metal, you know. Uh huh. And then there was Bob. Hi, Bob. What are you doing? Are you vibing? Are you vibing with this hole finally? I've got bottles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, then you are. What is that? This is a humidor. What's a humidor? It's it held uh, cigars, like this little stogie right here. What? So where would a humidor be? Yeah, it's sitting on the counter of a bar. So when you're having a, a drink, you could smoke a stogie. And so this part behind here would have come out and there would have been like a... I think it would have been a little compartment right here that wow. held the cigars. A so small cool. number of cigars. Very cool. So that was just sitting in a saloon and it was kind of like a... That's what I think. ...funny decoration. It's my guess. Cigars. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Whoa. Shell? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa, that is a freaking. You know, you gotta look at stuff like that because that's a shell, but it could have been carved by someone making their own folk art. That could be known as scrimshaw, like a sailor at sea. They found this shell on some exotic beach somewhere and they would carve little designs, pictures of their their wife or something, the dates, their name inside the shell. I have to say, that was a lot of dirty dinosaur digging. So, we're gonna enjoy a donut. And I didn't forget the milk. Mm. Oh, fuck yeah.